are neither Goku or Vegeta. We are Gogeta and Janemba. We've come for you. Back here again with another toy review on the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars Janenba. I don't know if that's spelled correctly, but America has it spelled Janenba. My whole life I thought it was Janemba with an M in the middle. But who knows? I'm probably sure some nerd in the comment section below is going to try to correct me. What is going to be a right way to say it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is I feel like i got to fart. But anyways... Oh my gosh, can you please hold it? I hope you guys enjoyed that stop motion. And yes, I do like the way this figure looks. He looks great. Just the articulation is lacking. Like always on this line. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be collecting this line any longer. Just because the articulation just happens to always disappoint every time I purchase a figure. Ah, sorry. You better keep collecting it. Sorry. <laughs> You can try all you want, like a diet. They, they <laughs> look. Still gonna shut buy up. It. They look good, just they articulate crappy. But anyways, with that said, what we're gonna do is take this figure out the stand, take a good look at the box. Why are you laughing at? What the sword? Yeah. What's so funny about the sword? Cause the angle that it was on. Oh, get your mind out of the gutter. Anyways, oh, gutter. we're gonna get this figure off the stand. Take a good look at the box. Good look accessories. A good look at, uh, good look at no. this <laughs> figure. All right, take a look at the box. We have a window saw packaging like always with Dragon Star and Janemma on the bottom. Nothing too fancy on the top. Nothing too fancy on the bottom. Window on this side. Photo of Janemma on this side. All the figures that you can get the, uh, all the figures that you can get in the line, which is weird. I wonder why they released 18 before 17. Can't wait to see these guys in person. But yeah, let's get into the damn figure. All right, and before we get into the figure itself, we're looking, taking a quick look at a size comparison. You do have the Dragon Ball Z, Gogeta, Dragon Stars, and then you have SH Figure Arts, and then Super Saiyan 4. And I, if I do recall, Janemba is supposed to be towering over Gogeta. I don't know, I could be wrong. This, uh, These two look more accurate together once again i could be wrong we never really see them standing side by side uh during the movie so yeah there you have it with the size comparison all right before you get into the figure we're going to go through some accessories as you can already see he does come with the fist that he already has on and then he comes with these generic open grip hands and then these uh Host, <laughs> what else I gonna say? Whore, sword holding hands. What's going on with the slur of the jaw? I don't know. And I do not feel like getting this hand off because it is a pain to get the sword on here. But yeah, there is some detail within the handle. And yeah, nice uh, metallic color for. Uh, what would you call that? This thing. I don't know. All right, there's a name for it, but I can't think of it right now. I don't know what the name is. Yeah, a nice metallic color there and a nice metallic red there. I'm very happy that my sword did not come out warped. So yeah, very cool. And uh, looking at this figure, he is somewhat detailed. So it's like you got some really good sculpt and you got really some really soft sculpt. Uh, his armor bits are sculpted great i do feel like they were uh inspired by 
a lot of customizers out there, including Dead Grins Customs. Uh, I was, I feel like they've been inspired by them to make a Janemba. I really think that a lot of these customs that you see online inspires Bandai to go ahead and make the figure. And that's why I think we really, that's why I think we do have an official Janemba finally. Because there's a lot of custom pictures out there with this guy. That's just my opinion. Yeah, the head is done very good. Face very accurate to the anime. I don't like the soft sculpt in the mouth. You can barely see the mouth. But it's there. His abs barely visible. What do you what do you think? I agree with everything you said. Yeah, I think that the plastic is too shiny for my taste. But I mean and the feet, look at this. The feet are just What the hell is this? Gack with a toenail? Poorly freaking sculpted. Oh, you know what? If it's different from the others, it's just one to be its own. Yeah, it's just poorly. It's so much soft sculpt. For twenty bucks, man, I, I I expect more. You got you got Power Rangers killing it. You got other lines killing it with their skulls. Marvel Legends killing it. Hasbro's killing it. McFarland's killing it in the twenty dollar range. Dragon Stars, it's time for you to wake up. And freaking taste the coffee! But wait a minute. Isn't that um, the first? The well, Ninba, you said? Yes, but still, it is sculpted very soft and articulation sucks! Well, it's the beginner thing. <sighs> I'm sure they're gonna improve in due time. Come on, if McFarlane can come out with My Hero Academia with really good articulation for a $20 range, these guys can as well! But and that's with that the said, first. getting to articulation, he does not look up. He does not look down, he looks side to side. His arms go up about that high. Yeah, you have to figure a standard type of sleeve, but the, uh, it's just such a tight articulation. It's so hard to move. Arm double jointed elbows, wrist hinge and a swivel. He has a hinge mechanism in this freaking weird harness shit. And then you can move it around, but it takes forever to move it around. He does have a hinge and a swivel in this thing. The hinge is movable. He does have a second swivel to the second part of the tail, and it just stays like that. He has a diaphragm joint. He twists left to right, but cannot crunch whatsoever. Maybe a tad bit to the back. And then the part that pisses me off. The legs kick. But they all go off to the sides. So if you want him to squat, it is not going to happen. Yeah. So let's try to get him in a squatting pose. That's about it, guys. That's about it. Not too much. He has double jointed knees, but still, it doesn't serve any purpose. He has a hinge and a swivel at the foot, and that's about it. Articulation. It's just very frustrating on this guy. Just very frustrating. Calm down, babe. Calm down. Take a deep <sighs> breath. I'm going to calm my tits. <laughs> with that said, here I have Janemba standing with Super Saiyan Gogeta. And yes, they look great together. These figures actually look great when they're in the vanilla pose. That's it. Other than that, they look shitty in any other pose. Come on, Bandai, when are you guys going to fix articulation on these guys? I'm tired of buying statues for me, folks. I want real articulated action figures. Real action figures. Not real action statues. You want to add anything? Anyways, with that said, if you haven't had the time yet, check me out at Kenny Boy's Toys with the Z in the middle on Instagram. For some reason... It just wants to say it, 2,895. And I keep having new people following me, and I keep checking, it's 2,895. So, go on, follow me. Don't follow me in the beginning. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing the same numbers all the freaking time. If you're not like this video, or subscribe to my channel yet, and if you like the way I talk with such sarcasm, Come and give me a follow and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <sighs> 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 <sighs>
Anyways, I do thank all of you guys for those who have supported me from the beginning and those who support me now. I'm finally back to normal. And as you can tell, I'm a quite bit obnoxious because, uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> talk you out of my ass. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will be back with two more reviews for Dragon Star, so stay tuned. I want to thank you all guys for watching, guys, and have a great day. Have a good one. Bye. Yeah.